Wake up, go to school, research articles. Leave school, go home, write an essay. Wake up, go to school, receive assignment. Leave school, go home, stay up late. Wake up, go to school, complete a test. Leave school, go home, continue studying. The rote, repetitive nature of the Monday to Friday school schedule can be exhausting for some. Despite the six to seven hours spent at school, students receive homework and assignments, are expected to churn out answers for the following day, and study for quizzes and tests, all while managing life. It does not surprise me that, given the power of the internet and the creativity that flows through the veins of these web developers, students are leveraging the tools that they find online in order to help them finish their schoolwork. Just like a calculator helps you do simple and complex mathematical operations, so too does the internet provide access. In a previous video, which I will link above and in the description below, I reviewed one such tool, called Essay Typer, that seemingly allowed students to write incredibly detailed papers with accurate knowledge in mere seconds, all by typing nonsense on their keyboard in the hopes of producing an essay. Since then, I have found a tool that students are leveraging online, in that of Quillbot. Undeterred by warnings of plagiarism, some students seem to throw logic to the wind and utilize this tool in an attempt to reword entire articles, with the hopes that these phrases remain undetected by plagiarism software. Upon searching for Quillbot in Google, it is clear that the tool is meant to help paraphrase sentences or articles that are given to it. And while this sounds probably like a dream to some students, I can assure you that Quillbot's primary purpose is not meant to help you escape plagiarism without repercussions. In a forward-thinking effort to build an artificial intelligence with human-like paraphrasing ability, Anil Jason, Rohan Gupta, and Dave Sillen hope to push natural language processing to the next level, so that people are able to communicate more efficiently, given different understandings and other language barriers. In the last few days, I have had the pleasure of speaking to Rohan Gupta, the Chief Operating Officer of Quillbot, so that I may clarify and help inform others of Quillbot's purpose, discuss the idea of plagiarism with a founder of the software, and talk about our opinions of the rote education system that exists today. After asking Rohan about Quillbot, the description that Google gives, the keywords involved in its description, and whether his perspective of Quillbot aligned with the description that Google provides, this is what he had to say. Yeah, um, so one, the description is oriented around SEO. Um, so, you know, a, we're trying to hit a couple of major keywords, paraphrasing tool, you know, article rewriter, things right. like that. Um, so I, you know, I wouldn't describe it necessarily in those terms. Um, the way that we usually like to describe it is as a full sentence thesaurus. Okay. Um, so it takes a full sentence, it rewrites it to produce, you know, multiple alternatives to set sentence. Um, so, but, but really what it is, is a tool that executes a particular function. Um, like almost like a calculator, right. you know, so um, we train an AI that can take a sentence, try to uh, extrapolate uh, a meaning for that sentence, and then produce an alternative sentence. Quillbot is particularly given the epithet of a full sentence thesaurus, in that it is a creative tool meant to expedite your writing process and give you alternatives for sentences that do not feel quite right. In this way, you can see why students may immediately see this as a way to sneak around plagiarism. An important thing to note here is that, in my conversation with Rohan, he specifically stated that while Quillbot can rewrite an entire paragraph or an article, he does not yet believe that it is capable of rewriting an article in the same way that a human can. And what I mean by this is that he doesn't think that the artificial intelligence is at a level of proficiency yet where it can extrapolate ideas or reorganize them to the same degree that a human being would be able to. The Google SEO, the title, and I think you touched on this earlier, I just want to clarify. The title says that it is the best article rewriter. Do you think that the SEO is misleading? Um, no, I think it can function as an article rewriter. 
um it can rewrite an article that you give it you know right um i don't i don't think it is at the level where it'll like extrapolate like a full paragraph or a full article and reorganize that article right and kind of do it to the degree that a human can um but from a superficial level it can achieve you know that goal right what i take from this is that given quillbot's functionality it could technically rewrite an article for you if you had an essay due and you're a student. However, Rohan's belief is that Quillbot's ability to write is still relatively superficial, and as such, it may not be indicative of the level of writing that you would be capable of as a student. The AI-based system that Quillbot is running and building is aiming to eventually be at the level where it may be able to accomplish this. But at the present time, it is still learning. This means that if you were to feed it an article, it may not produce the results that you are looking for in your plagiarized essay. Let's look at an example that will hopefully provide some context for you, the student. In my general observations, plagiarism detection services often work by searching for strings of words that are similar to the original source texts. And as such, in order to avoid plagiarism detection, People often suggest that in the sentence, the paragraph, or the article, you change every third word to a synonym. In addition to doing this, I am going to take a paragraph from an article, feed it into Quillbot so that it is rephrased, and then I will change every third word with a synonym that Microsoft Word provides to exemplify and accelerate the process of a plagiarizing student's logic. Okay, so I've taken a small paragraph from a Wikipedia article about pollution, put it into Quillbot so that it could do its magic and rephrase and reorder some of the sentence structure, and now I've pasted that new paragraph, in addition to the original paragraph, into Microsoft Word, I've bolded some things, colored some words, and I'm going to talk about a few important key points here. I've gone through both paragraphs here, and I've bolded some of the words black, with the purpose of showing you that these material sequences the words that kind of make up the structure of the sentence, have had their order shuffled around and their structure slightly changed. So for example, in the original paragraph, instead of saying the burning of coal and wood, the new paragraph says coal and wood burning. I've also gone back through the Quillbot paragraph and I've identified which of the words have been completely changed out by the software in order to vary the sentence structure but try to retain the same context and meaning of the original paragraph. So for example, instead of saying King Edward I of England banned, they're saying England's King Edward I outlawed. Let's talk about this idea of changing out every third word with the purpose of trying to avoid plagiarism software detection. If I come to my new paragraph, which is the Quillbot one, and I hover over wood, right click it and scroll down to the synonyms, I'm gonna be given a list of various words that kind of mean the same thing. So I'm gonna change it for lumber. Here's where the problem arises. I've just made one small change in the paragraph and that's probably not gonna change the meaning. But if I continue to do this for every third word, there is a pretty good possibility that I'm gonna change the overall structure so much that the meaning of the words is lost and the original intended point that the paragraph before was trying to make has been ruined. Here's something to consider as a student. When you submit your assignment or your paper or your essay to your teacher, they don't just turn it into a plagiarism detection software website, they also read it over. What I want you to do is I want you to pause the video and I want you to look at the first sentence of each paragraph. While the general structure of the sentences kind of implies the same thing, in the changed Quillbot paragraph, there's almost an unnatural way of speaking that exists. Coal and lumber burning, as well as the existence of many livestock in concentrated parts, made the metropolises the primary pollution sources. Not only has the word horses been changed to livestock, but presence has been changed out for existence, and areas for parts. And instead of saying cities, we're now saying metropolises. The structure's the same, but the meaning can be inferred to be something completely different. 
In my interview with Rohan, I brought up some Reddit comments that seemed to share this same idea of using Quillbot to plagiarize. He had some insightful words to say that discussed the idea of the integrity of the student and the choices that individuals make. I, I think like technology tends to be a double-edged sword. Um, I think, you know, a, it's the way that we built the technology was kind of agnostic to the use case. Um, I don't think that we built it like like we could certainly optimize on like a plagiarism use case if we wanted right. to, you know, and we, we clearly have not done that, you know, like we could have built a detector around it, you know, we could have done a variety of different things. Um, and, you know, I, I think that it really relies on the student um, and, you know, we aren't enabling the student to do that in the same context that they can certainly do it themselves. You right. know, um, a, a, they just leverage tools at their disposal. I think Rohan and I share a similar opinion here in that as a student of a technological generation, there are many tools available for you that are going to help you with your work. The thing is though, as standalone pieces of software, they're just tools. They don't make the choice for you to use them maliciously or for cheating purposes. The temptation exists, however, and while I do not think that it is valuable for you as a growing mind to use software to cheat your way through school, I cannot blame you fully. The routine, procedural days of school, the old curriculum, and the reuse of old assignments and tests can be seen as encouraging. I discussed this idea with Rohan, outside of the usage of Quillbot and its primary purposes, and he shared some of his thoughts, feelings, and opinions with me. No, I, I, I consider myself to be heavily self-taught in most, and even like in the context of a class, like I really did not, to be honest, find a lot of value in the homework. Uh, I found value in having to pass a test, you know, and like having to sit down and pass a test in a controlled environment that forced me to learn the source material and I, I benefited a lot from that structure but I've learned a lot outside of that kind of structure as well. Quillbot's functionality shines in an age where communication is becoming much more accessible to the general populace. With an artificial intelligence system backing you up, your ability to write effectively and with clarity of word choice should only increase and do so in a way that everyone understands you. Rohan's words, and I like to think ultimately Quillbot's purpose, are indicative of a higher level of care for the students themselves, as this technology has the capability of prolonging and enhancing a student's survivability in the education system for the long term. It can enhance the way that students look at sentence and paragraph structure and ultimately learn from this. Quillbot and the people who have built this artificial intelligence system ultimately wish to provide for deeper routes with which people can communicate to one another. While its capabilities do have a way of giving you shortcuts for homework, you still have to consider the context of your paraphrase. If you enjoyed this episode of Ranting with Dobson, I'm very much inclined to invite you to subscribe, it's free, like the video if you enjoyed the content, Leave me a comment in the section below, give me your thoughts about Quillbot, and if you want, share it with a friend or turn on the bell, it'll tell you when I release new videos. I've got nothing left for you today. Mr. Dobson, out.